the Iranian army has showcased a new homegrown tactical radar system, capable of highly accurate detection of targets, and a long-range simulator, used to intercept and track ballistic missiles, and a wide range of projectiles and flying objects. During a ceremony in the capital Tehran on Saturday, commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fart unveiled medium-range Hormuz tactical radar. The domestically developed Iranian radar system can precisely determine the speed and distance of objects and send accurate information to the command center of air defense missile units. Harmaz is also capable of enhancing combat capabilities of armed forces, has long endurance, requires shorter time for repair and maintenance, enjoys higher precision for detecting the direction and altitude of aerial targets, with its antennas having better reception quality that can identify targets faster than other radar systems. Meanwhile, the strategic long-range sham simulator can be used against ballistic missiles and a range of other targets. The homegrown system is capable of simulating actions against various aerial targets and can swiftly develop and enact modern combat scenarios. Last month, the Iranian army unveiled the three-dimensional and phased array Albers radar, capable of detecting and tracking various aerial targets. The radar has a range of 450 kilometers, 248 miles, and is capable of intercepting and detecting long-range stealth flying targets with low radar cross-section. A low-range and low-altitude command and control center called Borhan was also put on display. After receiving and analyzing data from all sources, Borhan transmits them to the highest levels of command to make decisions in the shortest possible time. The command could then take necessary decisions regarding the potential launch of any required operations and destruction of perceived targets. Marking the anniversary of its establishment, the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Defense Force IRIADF, wheels out two major achievements, including a state-of-the-art 3D radar. The achievements were unveiled during a ceremony on Wednesday in the presence of the force's commander, Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fard. Albers, as the radar has been named after the fabled northern Iranian mountain range, boasts a range of 450 kilometers, 248 miles. It is capable of intercepting and revealing long-range stealth targets or targets that yield little surface area that could be detected by surveillance devices. Albers can simultaneously engage 300 targets the device has been billed as a phased array radar, meaning that it can scan the horizon without needing to rotate its antenna. It has also been credited with being capable of intercepting as many as 300 targets at the same time, as well as the capability to detect targets lying in low altitudes. Also during the ceremony, the IRIADF unveiled a command and control system, named as Borhan. Aiding commanders at the topmost niches of the chain of command, the latter can be tasked with receiving information from all sources and analyzing it before relaying it to the Army's most senior officials. The officials would then take necessary decisions regarding the potential launch of any required operations and destruction of perceived targets. Borhan is designated to aid the efficient deployment of weapons at close ranges and low altitudes. By relaying information to the higher-ups in the shortest possible time, the system would also help them take successful decisions towards potential engagement and misleading of airborne targets. As part of its operations, Borhan would combine the data that it receives from electro-optical and radar systems and transfer it to missile systems for potential action. General Sabahi Fard said the bomb and radar system has been manufactured by Iranian specialists. One of the projects unveiled today is the bomb and radar system, and its rival has not been seen anywhere in the world, Fars quoted Sabahi Fard as saying. One of the features of the bomb and radar system is that it is passive, which can detect and identify all conventional aircraft and drones with a very small cross-section, he added.
He announced, the next project is the Nejit Mobile Operating Room, which is self-tensile in all battlefields and critical situations, including floods and earthquakes, and carries out its mission automatically. In June 2019, Iran unveiled a new homemade state-of-the-art missile defense system named Corded 15, which is equipped with passive phased array radar system for detecting fighter jets, stealth targets, and cruise missiles. The missile defense system was unveiled in a ceremony participated by Defense Minister Amir Hatami and General Sabahi Fard in Tehran.